Hi everyone, this is a continuation of our automations tutorial that you can find right here in the top corner or in the video description. Make sure you check that out first before watching this one. In the first automations video we used the simplified method for setting up automations, but if you would like more control then we offer a way to use the tried and true cron format. In this video we will go over cron format so you get more familiar with it. The basis of cron format always consists of six asterisks. Each asterisk represents a time interval. In order, they stand for seconds, minutes, hours, day of the month, month and day of the week. Now is a good time to explain why seconds in Lumia Stream are always specified as zero in the default. This is important so that our automation is not triggered every single second. That would be quite a mess. However, arbitrary values are not very helpful for our automated actions. That's why there are other operators to limit the times. Forward slash defines step sizes. For example, asterisk forward slash 5 in the minute series means that an action should be triggered every 5 minutes. Cron format automatically selects a round time as the start time if we have not entered any deviations. For example, 1 hour, 1 hour 5 minutes, 1 hour and 10 minutes and so on. However, since we do not always want to run our automations at the same time, we have to check cron format in more detail when it should trigger. So we enter for example 3 forward slash 5 in the minutes field. That means as much as trigger every 5 minutes but only start at minute 3 of the full hour. So it will look like this on our schedule. 1 hour and 3 minutes, 1 hour and 8 minutes, 1 hour and 13 minutes. Since Grunt Forward thinks along with you, you don't have to wait until the next hour. If you open the Lumia Stream app at 1 hour and 24 minutes, Run format automatically calculates and triggers your automation at 1 hour and 28 minutes. Now that we know our automation should be triggered and we have entered our interval, your schedule should now look like this. 0, 3, forward slash 5, asterisk, 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 asterisk. So in other words, start at minute 3 when the second is 0 and then every 5 minutes no matter what hour, month or day. That takes care of two out of four operators. A lot of stuff, but I promise you, once you've done it yourself, it's easier than doing a Windows update. The next operator is range, minus. With this one, we set a range. For example, Monday to Friday or 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Let's say, we have a special promotion, but it only happens on the weekend. We want to advertise this with a regular chat message from Friday to Sunday. So we set in our day of the week range 5 minus 7. Our schedule would then look like this 0, asterisk, 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 5 minus 7. Where the days of the week are numbered consecutively. 1 for Monday to 7 for Sunday. Since our weekend action only takes place in May and June, we want to narrow this down as well. Here too, we can work with numerical months. However, we have simplified this a little for you and you can simply select the month in the dropdown. So our input would look like this, 0, asterisk, 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 5 minus 6, 5 minus 7, or 0, asterisk, 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 May minus June, Fry minus Sun. You can mix all these methods together. The helper text under the cron format helps you to check. That's it for the range selection. Let's move on to the comma. With the comma operator, we can easily enumerate when our automation should be triggered. So we want our message to be sent at minute 3, 16, 28, 44 and 56. Then we enter it exactly like this, 
0,3,16,28,44,56 asterisk asterisk asterisk. Now the automation will be triggered at minute 3, 16, 28, 44 and 56 at second zero at every hour, month and day of the week. These were the last two operators. You can now mix the four operators together and adapt your automation perfectly to your stream. I bet your favorite operator will be slash forward. What do you think? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and have a luminous day.